Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Yes, I'm Daniel. I am still Rex, and this is, I saw, I think I was gonna go bourbon. Yep, bourbon, Kentucky straight bourbon. It's from Weddle. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. You got me the whiskey I deserved. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. You got me the whiskey I deserved. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. You got me the whiskey I deserved. Thanks, Mitch. You got me the whiskey I deserved, and you helped my entire family. Wait, first, yeah. I got a gift that I'm gonna put to good use here okay. while I check out the details of this bottle. Yeah. It's from Nathan Deckinga. Oh, you got, All right. <laughs> you got, <laughs> there we go. I. So let's see what we have here. It looks really uncomfortable. It is very uncomfortable. It looks so uncomfortable. I don't know how people see. get. I don't know how people get used to this. You got to squeeze it with your eye. I've never actually and... seen a real monocle. Yeah. I just thought it was like a disc. This has actual prongs that stick out you know behind what? and, and this, dig dig into your face. No, no, this is way more comfortable than all the other monocles that don't have those things. Really? It's actually easier to hold in. Oh. The other one, you have to squeeze the whole monocle in. Well, it hurts. All right. And it squishes up against your eyelashes. You just got to scowl the this whole is, time. Arr. This is why, this is why uh, all these guys always look like this. <laughs> By that, and they're old. Their face is saggy. What do we know about the whiskey? Well, we know about this. What I have to let's see. What we know about this is that it's four years, three months old. Yeah. It's a uh, barrel uh, number four ISC. Hmm. Uh, it's in a certain Rick House and certain yeast strain. So this is Kentucky Distillery. So it's got a decent age on it. Yeah, it's a small Kentucky Distillery that's doing uh, bottled in bond on this one. Okay. I mean, not really. They didn't say it on bottled in bond, but they are bottling it at uh, 54% alcohol. But this one is uh, co-founder Shane Baker and Pat Heist, who started. I like their story because I'm still wearing the monocle. I'm gonna wear it again until it falls out. Yeah. All right. So they. They started, they were in a rock band, and they're like, we need a new plan. <laughs> <laughs> I sympathize. <laughs> this is a sugary perfume. Mm-hmm. Sugary perfuming. This is a weeded bourbon, so it's 64% corn, 24% wheat, and 12 malted barley. And what? it's almost, it's like a rosy sandalwood almost. It's a beautiful sweet nose. It is candy sweet. Very, yeah. Like, not just brown sugar sweet. But, but... There is that perfume element, right? The, uh, it's still the, right in the heart of bourbon. The saturation. Speaking of, uh, an MB got me uh, during the Bastards Ball. People were super generous. They brought us like di different kinds of gifts and stuff. Stuff, and uh, it was a bourbon cologne. Oh, I noticed you haven't been using it. it smells phenomenal. Well, I just got into it. I'm going through the stuff because oh, okay. I have editors now. So yeah, I, now you got time to clean your office. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yes. This is the first thing I did. <laughs> no, it's wait, wait, when I laugh with a monocle, it's <laughs> funny. <laughs> now, there's still a long way to go, but yeah, I'm getting there. Anyways, the density of this note, yes, the perfume. saturation of these flavors coming out. Yeah, then, I totally get that. And there's an ethanol note in there. Mm. As you get past that, there's still that corn dust. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it is densely sweet, even on the palate. Wow. But it's not as sugar. It's weird. It's not just pure sugar. It, I think the like, um, it's it's uh, the floral cologne bit, yeah. and then there's like this woodiness behind it. Yes, that shows up more intensely on the taste. I wonder. That is interesting. And then the more I go back after having a taste, the more I'm starting to get out a little bit more of that wood character. And again, to me, it's presenting a little bit more as a as like a floral sandal wood than just a straight regular standard oak. Oh, now I'm starting to pick out a little bit more of the classic bourbon flavors after you have that sip. I'm um, starting to find some of that uh, that brown sugar and honey. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Uh, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about Maker's Mark, I'm just going to see if I can get it. Somebody suggested um, walking around music for you on, yeah, the, got it. on the Whiskey Tribe Facebook. Yeah, what the, was it? The girl from Ipanema. Oh! And you have to sashay. You have to sashay. Oh, I can sashay. <laughs> okay, there's Makers. It's nice. The Makers is nice. There's a little bit more of a honey in there. Directionally, I think they're, they're aimed in the same direction. Yeah. But they are definitely different bourbons, if we're in the spectrum of bourbons, but they're bourbons aimed in the similar direction. A little bit more of the sweet honey and a cherry on this nose on the Makers. Oh, there's way more. I have a really creamy sweetness to the Wilderness Trail whiskey. Wow, what's okay? But there's way more like of a creamy caramel. Well, and there's than uh, there is on the Makers. It's a softer sweetness. You see what I mean? 
Uh, I mean, this is more honey. Here's the, I'm gonna say yes, more sweetness, but a softer sweetness. Yeah, it's it's, a, it's like cream added to the sweetness. It's like in it's like in texturally how ice cream is sweet versus hard candy is sweet. It feels different. I don't know. You're not selling me on the soft. You're definitely selling me on the sweetness there. I'm gonna go back in. And the the wood, the wood note, yeah, the that more see, smoky. That that than wood woody. note. That's what's preventing me from buying into the cream note. Yeah, it's because, only at the end though. No, I'm getting it throughout. I mean, it layers through there, but it only opens out at the very so end. So I want to just check in and see how your, um, the project that you signed on for. Which one You is chose that? the comment. You said, we should do this. You said, we're totally going to do this. Oh, I've got the tank collecting one from each one. Yeah. I just keep forgetting to do it on camera, so I've been doing it afterwards. So we have been collecting. We have been collecting. Okay. Yes. So we've been collecting. Every whiskey that we've sampled so far the first week of January. Where's the tank? I mm -hmm. think whenever we get to the comments, mm -hmm. that's whenever we give a pour to the tank. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Andrew Woods, low. with what you've learned and know, if you were restarting your whiskey collection, what would your first three bottles be? Keep it to widely available whiskeys and under $60 to $75. Mm. Three whiskeys to start your collections. In the comments, I would love to see that. Oh, I've got three, but I also would love to see yeah, yeah. that in the comments. That could actually be an interesting episode. I know, right? If people who have been around the block with all things whiskey, if they were starting completely from to scratch, start over. what are the first three bottles they're grabbing to get to the, get started? Yeah. Or you're on vacation, you're like, I just need a representation of three things. Right. Three categories to just show up with. Mine, I know two instantly. Right. Uh, Lafroig, Red Breast. And then I would probably do a bourbon, and the bourbon is what I'm not sure of. I would do Octomore Red Breast Cast Strength. Octomore? Octomore. Wow! It would be you the- You went straight to top shelf? That's not widely available. Is it not? No. I thought it was just expensive. No, it's both expensive and not I've widely available. I've seen Octomores. Are we that spoiled yes, in Austin? We're yes, that spoiled we are. in Austin, okay. Like, I'm getting used to holding this monocle in. Right. I'm getting good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Sansone, Sansoni, Sanson. What is your favorite top drawer luxury pour that isn't unobtainium? <laughs> yeah. Uh, bonus points for bourbon since I'm less of a scotch drinker. Okay. Favorite top luxury pour that's not impossible like, to get. Like, let's get a fancy bourbon because that's we're out and we want to spend some money. It's not, not impossible to get. Because that's just way too expensive. Right, right, right. Junior. I'm going to say Stag Jr., honestly. I love the way that throws me around. Mm. Uh, Blanton's is up there. Yeah. Because even though it shouldn't necessarily be that, it is always priced right. really high right. in bars. I would go is, uh, oh, it has to be, you got to be able to get your hands on it. The Cast Strength Makers. Okay. Or a Wild Turkey 101. Oh. Right? Yeah. Or or the the rich rare breed. breed. Yeah, the rare breed. Yes, wild okay. turkey rare breed. I forgot about the rare breed. Yes, and also is our list pretty almost the same? <laughs> yeah. Also, I would add that one to my third starter pack. Rare breed. Yeah. Oh, so you want to have the, you have the coverage. Red breast. Right. Rare breed. Right on. Uh, this start. monocle's really working. <laughs> I'm on my game. <laughs> start, I saw a little water in here. A little water. Yes. Can't believe I'm remembering. I wasn't on the game. I'm remembering. I wasn't quiet on the game. All right, all right. Do we want a little more whiskey in there so the water didn't overwhelm it? Yes, why not? Sure, sure. A luxurious pour since we're talking about luxurious things. Okay. Uh, and uh, this is, again, one of those whiskeys you go back to it and you start to find another layer. Now I'm getting just a little bit of a vanilla after I've acclimated to the other flavor. You know what's cool? These guys are using sweet mash instead of sour mash, which means they're starting over every time. Right. With uh, the process. Wow, wait, something unlocked in that water pour. You know what's funny? I look at their label, and I like their bottle, and I like their labels. I even like the icon on the lid. So the vanilla became more prominent, and now I'm getting a slight caramel. I'm letting mine set for a second. All right. Yeah, I like the hell out of that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got a citrus note Ooh. all of a sudden. This did get <gasps> orange roll, orange Danish rolls. That's what it is. It's the sweet frosting on an orange Danish roll that's, that still has the cinnamon in it. Right. You know, you get them in the can. I on the taste. Right. How much water did you add? Was it a chunk? Same. It was a chunk. It wasn't a tiny drop. Okay. Because this, you can tell the proof is considerably lower. Yeah. But it, the flavors stand up really nicely. They're still really a do. really nice whiskey. It turns into citrus orange Danish. Even in the palate, it's orangey. Yeah. That's a hell of a good whiskey. That's a damn good whiskey. Here's fighting, stealing, drinking. Thanks, Mitch. <laughs> if you fight me, I fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal your liver. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up. Yeah.